Hi, today we're going to look at applying flam accent number one to the drum set. Flam accent number one is in 6-8, so the first thing that we're going to do is change the time feel from a triplet feel to a duple feel. Let's hear how it sounds in its original context. We're now going to try the flam accent number one in a 16th note feel. So if we look at flam accent number one, one expression of the phrase is six notes long. Now that we've applied it to 16th notes, it's six 16th notes. Let's add a 7th 16th note in the form of a bass drum stroke and see how it sounds. Our next step is to orchestrate the flam accent number one. We're going to move it off of the snare drum onto the two rack toms. Our initial orchestration is simply to have the right hand on the ra right rack tom, left hand on the left rack tom. Let's look at that. This is just a step. Our next step is to add some cymbals into our mix of the orchestration. What we're going to do is play the first right hand of the first group of three notes on the right ride cymbal, and the first left hand in the second group of three notes on the left hand cymbal. I'm going to do that nice and slow. Let's hear how it sounds. Now let's reintroduce the bass drum stroke at the end of our phrase of six notes. Now that we've established our seven note phrase, including the six notes from flam accent number one and the additional bass drum, let's see how we could apply this to a drum fill. We have to pick a length for our fill, so let's pick two bars. If we have 16th notes over the course of two bars with 16 16th notes in each bar, we'll wind up with a total of 32 16th notes. Now, if we go back to our seven note phrase, we can fit that seven note phrase four times into a phrase of 32 16th notes. Four times seven gives us 28 16th notes, and we're left with four 16th notes at the end. Initially, let's put those four 16th notes on the snare drum to fill our phrase. Let's see what that sounds like. That completes our 32 note phrase. Now let's see how that sounds with the metronome and we'll play that two bar fill after two bars of time. Finally, let's just take a look at those last four 16th notes and see how we can orchestrate them to make it a little bit more colorful. After the interesting flam accent number one orchestration on the toms, you can go to the snare drum, but let's just take a look at an alternative. Playing the last four 16th notes on the snare, rack tom, floor tom, crash cymbal with a bass drum, and then our downbeat. That'd be Four E and a one. We'll play the same phrase now with our new orchestration of the last four sixteenth notes.
So there's our look at one way in which we can apply flam accent number one to the drum set in the form of a two bar fill. Let's just review some of the techniques that we used to disguise the flam accent number one. First, we took its feel, which was a triple feel, and changed it into a duple feel. The next thing we did was add an additional element, which is the bass drum stroke, to our six note phrase and transformed it into a seven note phrase. Next, we orchestrated it on the toms and the cymbals to change the color. And finally, we took a look at how we could apply that seven note phrase into a particular space. What we chose was, in this case, a two bar phrase. We looked at the math of it, the 32 notes that we had to fill up, saw how the seven note phrase would fit into the 32 note phrase, and saw what we needed to complement the, the complete measure. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, look at Flam Accent number one. My name is John Rucci, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Okay.